Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you see in my thumbnail, you obviously know what I'm doing on this one. So no, it's not the comp trucks or anything this time or my engine rebuild. It is, I'm working on my WR450 2020 and I'm going to be putting a Safari long range tank in. So it's uh, 12 and a half litres. They give you all the instructions here, but I haven't seen much on the net on how to do it or how to uh, put it all on. I've seen some of the IMS ones, but nothing with this so we have to take the whole subframe off this whole back area here so i'm just going to take these off the side guards the the seat the back guard um stuff you don't really need to see how to get done because that's pretty self-explainable but with my back rack i've welded it to the exhaust so i'm gonna have to take my exhaust off so hopefully i can get that off but before i start anything i'm going to drain it out um keep it in mind when you do do them and you Kind of take it out like you could just take it off and use the clip and do it but i've just got myself like a little like a little jigger jigger jiggy jiggy with the jiggy now nah. um yeah so yeah all i'm got me tools kind of set up what i'm going to use the grinder for here i believe we've got a cut down and then across or something like that i don't have a template i'm not going to use a template for that i'm just going to put the tank on put the guard there and just cut it i guess if i fuck it up or if i stuff it up i'll um I'll just order another guard, I don't know, see how it goes. But yeah, I've got to take uh, this off. I'll show more off the fuel uh, the fuel cover, the air box inside. I'll show all that once I get into the inside it and I get all this off. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and if you see the M57 behind me and the patrol, obviously doing an engine build on that one as well, but not on this channel. So while I wait for the flywheel to get machined and sorted and that like that, I'm going to do work on my bike and get that sorted and maybe if I get time I'll see how I go. I might have time to put the Star Trek seat foam on. So I've got the Safari one here. So for me bum to sit on, it's a bit easier and I've got the seat cover to go over it. So for that to work I'm going to have to take that seat off and I'm going to have to Take, this, take the screws out so i might show that a bit later on as well i'm gonna have a go at it i've got myself a little staple gun so i'll see how i go hopefully i don't bugger it up if i bugger it up well then i'll take it in and get someone else to do it but while i'm sitting here babysitting the boy well he's just playing his own thing um i thought i'd muck around with the bike and get it done so yeah all right well i'm just gonna pull all that off and go from there right let's get it done Wheel. everything off it should be like this i'm not sure if you have to take the rear guard off or not so i'm just gonna leave it on and see if i can do it with it on if not i'll take it off later but what you pretty much got to do now is take the uh earth off earth off the battery but i'm just going to take it all off uh off the um yeah and take all that out i'm going to cut the zip ties here and move all the wire the way and then for the subframe you got one bolt here one bolt here and the other side you got the same one bolt here and one bolt here and that should just back but because i've welded this on this me me bike carrier to me exhaust i'm gonna to have to take my exhaust off so it'll be a bit of a pain in the ass but i'll uh do that and then i'll show you the next step i am gonna to have to take the the flares off as well because obviously the tank sits in here and then i'm gonna to have to cut that so take them off as well so i'll get that done and then show you the next little part i've got to do yeah so took the guards off took the battery off Unplugged it, so that's just pretty much. I'm gonna go on this side so you can see it a bit better. I took that guard off as well. So, in here, got this little plug, and that just unplugs from underneath, under there. And you just, and then unplug everything here and here, up here. Same thing, it's got like a little little clip on it. See that little clip? You just gotta push that little clip down, and that pulls out, cut all the zippy ties off, so you got all. Uh, zip ties around the frame, around the subframe, and that as well. Uh, I have my wires to the battery for my quad lock charge, so I'll rerun that in there as well. But um, yeah, I had a heap of zip ties all through here, so you cut all them off. And I do have to take the back back guard off. So to get to the back tray is these four bolts underneath here. So you got one, two, uh, three, four, and then I assume. That whole thing just comes out, and then I'll take my back frame off, uh, back guard off, and then I'm gonna take uh, my subframe off. So I think it's all disconnected. I think that's all. We we'll have to take that off, 
Um, yeah, I'm obviously going to have a few little things I'm going to have to take off as I go. If I have any troubles with anything of, a, of that, of the next step, I'll uh, let you know. But if I don't and I just go to the next step, it means pretty basic forward, guys. It's, uh, yeah, I just couldn't find anything on the net about it. So I thought I'm just going to have a crack at it by myself while I wait for my flywheel to get done for the motor. So here I am just having a go. So hopefully this helps. If you like this content and it helps you and you're looking at it going, man, yeah, that's sick, thanks, bros. Give us a comment, give us a thumbs up. Uh, and if you like my content, um, don't mind subscribing. Because, um, yeah, once the truck's done, I'll be out full driving in that. I'll be out bike riding and adventuring, riding in that and this. And uh, I'm going to go and get a caravan. So that's new content coming up later too. But, yeah, this is continue with the build. Right, so the seat's off. A quick um, advice as well. You've got these little wires here. Make sure you see where they go because I undid my seat and it fell off. <laughs> I don't know where. They... I don't know where they go. So probably should have taken them off before I took the seat off. But it's all new to me. But yeah, so you got a bolt in here, and then you got two underneath in here for the seat, and then I took the exhaust um bolt off as well so i could get in there uh, it was a bit a bit tricky with the seat sitting up so yeah a uh, little note while you're doing it if you're going to do it uh just check where the wires go let's check where the wires go because yeah otherwise they fall out and you don't know where they go so yeah next uh mission is to get the uh battery box out i believe so don't know if I need it out or not. I'll see. I'll let you know in the next part if I do. But uh, yeah, check where the wires go. Makes it. Hopefully the photos I've taken before, which is a good idea. Take photos as you're doing it. So if this shit happens and you're like, oh man, where they go? You can just go for your phone and see what they are. But the only ones that are there is the black and black, so they should just line back up. Guess I'll find out, eh? Right, so you've got the black clip here, that just, that just pops out. You've got this little clip at the front here, if you can see it. Give it a twist. Get the screwdriver in there. Take the little black clip off. So you've got plenty of room in here to move. Then around here you got this little little bit, so fuel's probably going to come out because I didn't get it all. Just get your screwdriver on there. Push it in. Oh, take, take that off. No, still hang on, I guess you. No, that thing a bitch. Yep. Your fingers are either side, put a bit of pressure on it. Yeah, come from this way. Yeah, that's true. It should just pop straight off. Come on, you fucker. There you go. So it's coming off now. So you squeeze both sides of that, pull it, the fuel's gonna probably come out. So I'm just gonna tilt it up. Oh, there we go. Not much. You've got plenty of room with this cord. So I'll tip it up, but you do have that little lip. There you got to get it over. So, and that's pretty much the first bit how to get the tank off. So, full of fuel, so I can't, I can't put it down. Um, yeah, now I'm going to take the subframe off next, and then fit the new one in. So that's pretty much how you take the, the fuel tank off. That little black clip at the front there that I took off, and then you just squeeze the the two two clips together like I just did them. This one, squeeze them both either side, and then it just pops straight off. And better move that because that's fuel going everywhere. All right, guys, now I've got the fuel tank off, as you see. I'm just going to take off all the parts I need off this tank. So I'm going to have to take the little um, tank guider, the fuel pump, uh, and the seat, seat locator and the seat bolt that goes into there so before you 
before you um, do all that buck, or even at the start, before you even get going, uh, inside the tank here, um, there's a heap of plastic in that from when it comes from the, from the manufacturer. So they do recommend to clean it out, which I'm going to do. I'm going to compress it with uh, air first, and then I'm going to use the fuel out of my old tank. I'm going to use in the old, in the new tank, and then I'm going to tip the fuel out of that, and then yeah, I'll put new new fuel in. So yeah, before you do it, make sure you give it a bit of a clean out because like if you, I'll give you a look. So you got that down there, and then in there you've got like all this black rubbery stuff so yeah you don't want that in the, the fuel filter so give it a blow out then give it a fuel pull out with a good bit of fuel give it a little shaky bout and it should be pristine okay right, guys so i've already listened to that but uh you take the underneath here you just take the cover off the fuel grab the uh i guess it's the fuel pump so it comes out that's what it looks like and then it just goes in it's hard with one end bear with me it does go in really easy you just got to find the sweet spot so yeah can you come and hold this quick just hold that and put it on me put this in, mate. This. There you go. And then this plate here comes around. There's only one way it can go on. Turn this side, mate. And then this side. So. There's only one way it can go on. There's these little locator thingy here. And that's how it goes on. And then tighten it up. So you do the sequence is, hang on, um, one, two, three, four, five, and do two or three turns each one, and then it should uh, tighten it up. I don't think the fuel pump will go any other way, like that's pretty much how it's going to sit there like that, and then put the screws in and I'll show you when it's done. Alright, so take the fuel off the top of the fuel line so this this thing dripping fuel everywhere you have to undo this clip here it slides down like that and then i got a screwdriver on it because i tried to make it fit without doing it because i didn't know how to take it off and i got a screwdriver like this i got it put pressure on it and i gave it like a bit of a whack and uh yeah it came off so very very frustrating because i was like ah oh, hopefully the standard one works which it doesn't because it's too short so that's obviously why they send the other one with you so this is the difference so that's the difference between what you need so you put the standard one down there then you get these ones are a lot easier to use these are just like a pinch clamp and then pretty much just put it into in over the thing clips on like that and then this comes around which is thinner as well comes through the tank around and then just clips straight on what a head buggery that was oh my god i just hope i put that on right and didn't put the the bent end at the wrong end but i guess i'll see um i'll leave it there and I, now that's it so i took all this off which you don't need to take off um, but I did anyway just to get in there and see what's going on had a head torch but yeah undo that little black clip first and then it's like a little pinch point so like this little pinch either side but I just put the screwdriver on it put the screwdriver on it and it just popped straight out there we go so fuel tanks on all the wires have come through Hopefully that's not going to be an issue down here. I'll probably just have it sit there like that. Uh, feed all the wires through like this. But with the subframe, you're going to have to cut this off. 
So the grinder straight through there. And to take this plastic, this plastic clip off the right side of the motor. So that's what obviously what your um, what your guard sits in and clips into there. So that's just a Phillips head screwdriver and it'll just pop off. So I'm just gonna cut it. Where is it? Over here. So I'm just gonna cut, cut it off, this and i'll show you once it's done Alrighty, so i was wrong about the clip make sure you put the bend one uh at the bottom because i had to pull all the tank the frame everything all apart because it stuck out too far so the frame slides into the the tank like here and the fuel line that comes behind it so make sure you get that right otherwise you're going to pull it all apart when you do it, make sure you tuck this in behind and you put it in. So I'm just going to sit it, sit it there, just because that's um, a bit better. Oh, you know, I'm not going to pull the whole bike apart just to put uh, that one bit of wire underneath here, and then it comes up. So I'm um, just going to leave that there, and that's how much it is. Um, on the on the um, frame as well, you got these. Uh, little tags on the frame. I just took it off because it was too tight of a fit. I guess you could you could keep it on there if you want, but I was just like, nah, I'll bugger it. I'm just gonna um, take it off. And this thing here, it's just a clip. Uh, just get a screwdriver and just unclip it, and it will come off. So that's it all back together. So now I just got to put the seat back on the the flares and that. I got to see how this sits with my flares. So that's my next part. Uh, that's what I'm up to now. So this does stick out a, a little bit. I don't know how that it's going to go I guess I'll see in a sec, but yeah, as you see the lights going down It's taken me a fair while to do it. So I've had to pull it all apart and line it all up So yeah, right. I'll uh, go the next step and then I'll show you once I'm done and explain ooh, What I've done then and uh, go from there And there you go There's the final product of it on my WR 2020 yeah, it looks all right probably can't tell this side because it's a bit dark but yeah lines up pretty good pretty much the same process of taking everything off put it all back together uh with cutting this up uh i will have to cut it a bit more and that i just don't have time now i've got to go up and cook dinner um but yeah on the back here of the air filter lid you got the two clips on either side had to cut them off to fit because the fuel tank sits hard up against the where those clips are. So even if I had this on, the fuel tank, the air tank won't lift up uh, to get to in there. So, but what I did is just yeah, cut them off, cut the fuel thingy off inside there, as you can see. Not really best light. Cut that to make it fit. But I've got a um, my tank bag. It's going to sit on there, and that will hold it down like that perfectly. So. Yeah, I'll uh, trim all that up, but you got the gist, physicist, and that's what it looks like. You, you know, it's still slim line with the side of the bike and the frame. It doesn't stick out. As you know, I'm going to fix that up. And same on this side. See, it's uh, pretty smooth. Um, yeah, you got that little bit sticking out, but yeah, pretty smooth with that. And that's pretty cool for a 12, 12 and a half litre tank. That's what I wanted. Uh, that's what I'm going. I had to take these off to get in because I had to take the frame off. So I had my protectors on there. But uh, that's what it's like. It looks pretty, pretty sick, I reckon. Um, yeah, you know, I was a bit bummed about the the fuel cap cover. Um, if anyone else has done it and I've missed something from that, please leave a comment in the comments. Uh, and if you like what I've done, give us a thumbs up. I've seen nothing about them, so I just winged it myself, and obviously it's got into the PM pretty fast, so. Uh, yeah, that's uh, I'm gonna wrap it up there and um, Tomorrow I'll put my tank bag on and start putting everything back together now that I've got that on I haven't started it yet. I'll see how it goes tomorrow uh, Yeah, thanks for watching guys